Hi, welcome to the show. This is family friendly. <laughs> Hi, I'm gonna welcome to Three Minute John. We are back, baby! And when I say we, I mean me. Wana has some other business to attend to, and Chuck is in Thailand for another two weeks. <laughs> I'm so happy for him. <laughs> He is probably watching this episode right now on a relaxing sunny beach. Oh, I hope you get sunburned, you motherfucker. And now, well, let's get back to some news. Flash news since we've been gone. Apple admitted they're slowing down older phones in order to save battery life. Yeah, sure. It has nothing to do with making you buy the latest model and making them a load of money. No, it's to preserve battery life, because battery lives matter. <sighs> On the other hand, Samsung, LG and most of the Android phone manufacturers say they don't slow down your older phones. In your face, Apple. Still got a good old S7. Works just fine. Ish. Ethereum hits $1,200 for the first time. $1,300. $1,500. $1,400. This is ridiculous and i've bought 0.06 ether when it was only 500 dollars so i made like 35 bucks baby oop, oop. Meltdown and Spectre are two bugs that allow critical information stored deep inside your computer system to be exposed and they affect all computers and devices you heard me apple users all of them so be sure to update your devices and donald trump is a genius <laughs> he said so himself in a tweet, so it must be true. On the same logic, I tweeted, I am a demigod, I can fly, and I have a huge <laughs> hashtag all hail John. Suits that can mine cryptocurrency. Hundreds of billions of dollars. That's the market cap for cryptocurrency. Hundreds of billions of dollars. And mining for crypto coins consumes a lot of energy. A lot, a lot. Or as a genius would say, many, many, many. Very many. Many, 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 many energy. The Bitcoin network alone consumes more energy than the country of Bulgaria, thus making cryptocurrency an environmental problem. But a new project carried out by a Dutch organization explores the idea of mining crypto coins using your body heat. They hired human workers to lay down on workstations, kind of look like beds, wearing body suits that harvest the residual body heat in order to produce electricity that is used to mine cryptocurrency. <laughs> Harvesting energy from humans to power machines. Ah, yeah, I think I saw a movie about this one. I know exactly what you mean. It's called YOHO, which is short for Institute of Human Obsolescence. Human Obsolescence. That's pretty straightforward. The energy harvested from 37 humans for 212 hours was used to mine 17,000 coins. Mostly cheap ones, but there were some light coins and Ethereum too. No Bitcoins, because it will take the body heat from 44,000 people for one month to mine one single Bitcoin. There are some women that lie in bed and use their hotness in order to make money. <laughs> I personally have never paid for such services. I put it in a tweet so you know it's true. Now, let's get things straight. There's nothing I would love more than lying in bed, doing nothing, making money and calling that work. But powering machines? F*** that. I'm nobody's battery. Crap. And now some news from CES 2018. Intel presented their plans on making quantum chips for supercomputers and AI processors that will mimic the human brain and power the robots of the future, for which we will make energy with our body heat. Yay! <laughs> the Chinese phone manufacturer Vivo presented the first smartphone with a fingerprint sensor under the display using a synaptics optical sensor. You hear that, Apple, Samsung, and the rest of you? No more excuses. LG showed off a 65-inch OLED TV that rolls up like a giant newspaper and it can shrink to size depending on the display ratio of what you're watching it's very cool but it's only a prototype just like the flexible displays they showed off a few years ago oh well we have this so cool and bendable and flex and it can roll up but you can't have it yet 
Enough with the teasing, LG. Make it happen. LG also presented Chloe, the most human-like AI assistant ever. Because it ignores you. Chloe, am I ready on my washing cycle? Even robots have bad days. Don't you just love it when they fail on stage? Mm. And then he tried again. Chloe, what's for dinner tonight? Okay, Chloe is not gonna talk to me. <laughs> That's actually a perfect product if you're single and you want to feel like you're married. Hey honey, what's for dinner? Honey? Honey, I love you. Honey? I got my paycheck today. Hey honey, how was your day? Hey, I love you. Give me a kiss. Mm. Oh, honey? And this was the show. Thanks again very much for watching. Remember, subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment below. I'm John, and until next week, keep it safe and secure. Cheers. Oh, I hate my hair. But my wife likes it. She makes me cut it like this. It kind of makes me look like my neighbor. <laughs>